Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to compile and run Lex and Yak programs on Windows environment. If you want to compile and run Lex and Yak programs on Windows environment, we need uh, three softwares. First one is uh, Flex 2.5.4a. Second one is Bison 2.4.1. And the third one is Dev C++. So these are the three links you can use to download uh, these particular uh, softwares. Uh, I will first show you how to download it. Uh, this is the URL to download uh, Flex uh, for Windows. Uh, just go down and then you will get this particular uh, setup button. Click on this one, you will be able to download Flex software. Similarly, this is the link uh, to download the Bison for uh, Windows. Just go down, again you will get this particular setup button. Once you click on this particular setup button, you will be able to download the software. And the third one is uh, Dev C++. Uh, this is the home page of uh, Dev C++ official uh, website. Just go down and then you will get uh, this particular link that is uh, Dev C++ for Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11 in this case. Click on this and then download the software. I have already downloaded all these th three softwares. I have kept in this particular folder. The first one is uh, Flex, second one is Bison and third one is Dev C++. Uh, while downloading uh, dev c++ make sure that uh, it has a gcc compiler also uh, if you don't have a gcc compiler you will not be able to run uh, the programs on windows environment now once you download uh, these three uh, first we need to install uh, flex and then we need to install bison and then we need to install uh, dev c++ but while installing uh, we have to make sure that all these uh, three will be installed uh, uh, in uh, very root directory you can say for example if you want to install uh, flex make sure that uh, it will be installed in uh, gnu win32 bison will be installed in uh, gnu win32 again both uh, should be installed at this particular location rather than installing the default location similarly dev c++ should be installed at dev minus cpp this is the location at which we need to install it so uh, once you install it uh, you will be able to see something like this uh, you will get uh, these two folders. One is uh, GNU Win32. Within this, uh, you will be having uh, both Flex and uh, uh, Bison. If you open this particular uh, bin, you will be able to see here Flex is available as well as Bison is available here. And uh, if you go back to the C uh, directory, you will see this uh, Dev minus CPP. Within this, uh, you will be having uh, the Dev CPP files. Within that, we have something called as uh, TDM GCC 64. We need to open it. Within that, we have uh, bin. And within this, we have what is that called as uh, GCC. Now, uh, what we need to do here is uh, we have to set this particular path in uh, environment variable. So, what I suppose to do is I need to click or right click on this, uh, this uh, PC or on this particular uh, desktop. Uh, I need to right click on this one and then I need to select uh, properties. Once I select this particular properties, I will get an option of uh, uh, advanced uh, system settings. Once I select this particular thing, I will be able to get uh, the environment variable here. I need to click on environment variable and then at this particular bottom, if you search here, you will get a path here. So just uh, select this particular path and then uh, click on uh, edit. Once you click on edit, at the end, we need to mention these two paths over here. Uh, the two paths are one is uh, within C, uh, within uh, GNU Win32, uh, we have installed that particular uh, flex as well as uh, uh, the bison. So this is what we need to add to that particular path. Along with that, we need to add one more. That is, this is the one more thing we need to add. That is the place where we have installed the dev C++. So dev C++ uh, GCC compiler is present in C, within that uh, dev CPP. Uh, slash uh, tdm gcc 64 slash bin so this is the location where uh, the gcc compiler is present so we need to add those two things over here i, I hope you can see that particular thing over here uh, here i have uh, written the path of uh, flex and after this i have written the path of uh, the gcc compiler in this case i need to click on ok and then ok and then again we need to click on ok here and then uh, I need to close this particular the system setting. After that, uh, we need to restart our machine so that uh, this particular path will get into effect in this case. Now, uh, I will show you how to compile uh, the and run Lex programs uh, after installing all the three softwares. 
So let us assume that uh, the name of the program is hello.l. Uh, you need to use the flex command to convert this particular uh, hello.l into a C file. So flex uh, name of the program dot L. It will create a default uh, C file. The name of the default uh, C file is uh, lex.yy.c. So you can compile this particular lex.yy.c with the help of uh, gcc command. You will get an executable file that is uh, a.exe. You can run that particular thing. So this is how actually you can uh, compile and run lex program. When it comes to compiling and running yak program, again we need to convert the lex program into a C file with the help of uh, flex that is flex name of the file dot L and then we need to use uh, bison to uh, convert this uh, yak program into a C file that is bison uh, minus dy that is the option we need to use followed by name of the yak file that is hello dot y so flex uh, will convert this uh, lex file into lex dot y dot c bison will convert this yak file into y dot tab dot c here so both we need to compile with the help of GCC. We will get an executable file that is uh, A and then we need to execute this particular A.exe in this case. So once we do this particular thing, we will be able to get the output here. I will show you one uh, practical uh, example. I have written one program here uh, that is uh, demo. What I do is uh, I have to open a terminal at this particular place. So I will go to this particular URL. Here I will type uh, CMD. Once I type CMD, I will be able to open a command prompt at this particular location. You can see here, this is the Lex programs is the directory where I have opened this particular C, uh, command prompt. Now I have to use a command called as uh, flex and then uh, demo.l that is the name of the program I have written here. It will convert this particular demo.l into lex.yy.c. Next I will use a gcc lex.yy.c so that I can compile this particular C program. Once I compile this particular C program, I will get an executable file that is A here. So once I get that executable file, I can execute it with the help of A.exe. Once I execute it, in this particular program, it will ask you, uh, you to enter one string so that uh, uh, it will give you whether the string is a simple or compound statement. We will discuss this particular program in detail at the later stage. Just I am showing you how to uh, compile and run that particular program just here. So I will uh, uh, try to give some input string. Uh, I will write uh, my name is uh, Mahesh and I am from India. So if I type this particular thing, because and is present and then uh, these two statements or the simple statements are connected with the help of and, I, I should get uh, uh, what we can say that uh, the compound statement. So I will press enter button here. I will not get uh, output here so I have to press ctrl z first and then I have to press enter here. Now uh, you will be able to see the result that is it is a compound statement over here. Similarly if you want to execute it one more time you can uh, type uh, a.exe and then you can uh, enter your string let us say that my name is Mahesh I will type. Now if I enter again I will not get the output I have to press ctrl z and then I have to press enter here. I will get uh, the statement as simple in this case. When it comes to uh, Linux environment, uh, we usually press uh, Ctrl D for end of uh, file. In uh, Windows, we have to press Ctrl Z followed by enter button so that uh, uh, we say that uh, the input has completed. It has to start processing that particular input in this case. So in this video, I have explained what all softwares are required uh, to compile and run Lex and Yak programs on Windows environment and uh, how to set up uh, those particular softwares. I hope uh, the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.